Hello, summer readers. I'd like to start with a song that we can all sing together. She'll be coming right on my Jeff Robbins, and I've been playing musical instruments since I was nine years old. My grandmother bought me a guitar when I was nine, so I played guitar for a long time, and then uh, later on I went to college where I learned to play the banjo and fiddle, and I've uh, been playing music for a profession now for 39 years. Thanks a whole lot. I'd like to sing you some songs that come from the mountains. A lot of them tell stories about bears and such. Here's one of the most famous of them all called Old Slewfoot. Yeah, high on the mountain and tell you what you see. There's bear tracks, bear tracks, but you back to me. Bear gets your rifle. Oh, 
no sleep for that. Most of the instruments I played my father and I made. This is a mandolin my dad made for me. He's only made one of these and I'm really proud of it. If you can see on the back, he uses some really pretty wood from a maple tree. If you notice, it's got stripes across the back. If you, when I move it in the light, those stripes reverse. The ones that are dark will turn light. The light ones will go dark. Let's see if it'll do it for you. I don't know if you can see it on your TVs or not. But anyway, this song is called the Crawdad song. You guys know what crawdads are? They're like a little baby lobster and they got two pinchers and live in the creeks and the streams. I'm sure if you move a rock around in the creek, you might see one swim out from under it. Says, you get a line, I get a pole, honey. Seven-year-old boy who lives way out in the country. 
in a big old farmhouse. And he lives in there with his mom and dad and his grandparents and all their aunts and uncles and all their dogs and cats and all their fleas and ticks too. And every Saturday morning they all get together and go hunting. Except for that little boy, he didn't get to go because his legs were too short. But he wanted to go hunting so bad that he started begging and pleading and crying and carrying on until finally one day his daddy said, okay, i tell you what, on your eighth birthday, I'll take you hunting. That little boy started waiting. Finally, when his eighth birthday rolled around, he jumped up out of bed, went running into his daddy's room, honoring, hey dad, don't you know what today is? Today's my eighth birthday. You promised I could go hunting today. And he says, well, if you get lost out there, don't you expect me to come looking for you because you're so little and your legs are, you're so short, you'll never be able to keep up. And he says, oh, I can keep up, honest I can. And besides, if I don't, all I have to do is pull out my horn and blow it for old Blue. Blue, he's the lead hound. He has wonderful ears. He'll hear that. He'll find me. So his daddy said, okay. They whistled up their dogs. First they hollered for old Blue. Old Blue, he barked right back to dogs together and all those hunters they went down to the Dollar General store where they made up with some more dogs and some more hunters and the next thing you know it the whole community took off on what they called the Cumberland Mountain Bear Chase. Oh way away bound to the mountain bound to the mountain bound to the mountain over oh, the hills hills and fountains way chasing way road road to see see road Catch him all night long, the great dark, merrily the chase goes on. Over the mountains, the hills, and the valleys, away to the chase away. About that time, old Blue picked up the smell of the big old bear. And the chase was on. Those dogs started chasing that old bear. Those adults were chasing those dogs. And there's that little eight-year-old boy going just as hard as his tripped right over a rock. He got back up and started to run again. The dogs were getting farther and farther. The mountains were getting higher and higher. Pretty soon you couldn't even hear them anymore. It was starting to get dark outside. Fireflies started coming out. Bullfrog jumped in and out of the water. Who well, now flew by? That little boy wasn't scared though. He just pulled out his horn and blew it from blue. All he could hear was the echo coming back. He was listening so close. He Thought he heard something. Wasn't sure though. Sound like it might be old blue. Yeah.
That's a Cumberland Mountain Bear check. I'd like to show you a couple of instruments that I made. This is my very first banjo. I made this one when I was in high school. I had to do a project. And instead of writing the paper, I asked my teachers if I could make a banjo. So I got to do that. And the first thing I did was run to the library and found some books that were called Foxfire. They had instructions in it that tell you how to make these things. And you can see on the back of this one, I learned how to make a wood carving. And a lot of people ask me, how do you make a carving like that? And the answer to that is first you draw your design on a piece of paper and then glue the paper onto the wood and take a pocket knife or your chisels, anything that you have to carve it out. And then you just simply sand off the paper with some sandpaper and leave that design on there. Like I say, those books are back in most of your libraries called Fox.
this is a banjo that I made out of a cookie can. It actually had a fruit cake in it when I found this in my mom's refrigerator. So I decided to pull it out and make a banjo. Yeah, I know it. As you can tell, it makes a real unusual sound. This is called a one string pork and bean guitar. What it is is a little project that I make by recycling a tin can. You got to make sure the top of the can's cut out first. Then on the other end of the can, you get a nail and make a hole in the can. Then you lay the can onto a piece of wood and wrap some tape around them to hold them together. Now, on this end of the wood, we put a guitar string through the hole and then we hammer it down and run it up to this little thing. It's called a screw eye, which tightens it up and tunes it. And with just a little bit of work, you've got yourself one bad pork and bean guitar. And it sounds like this. You can learn to play just about anything on this one string pork and bean guitar. If you start out with something easy, see if you guys can recognize what I'm playing here. Anybody got it yet? So Mary had a little lamb. If you miss a note, you just slide into the next one and you'll find it. It also played fiddle tunes. Here's a little bit of a song called Little Liza Jane. So here's a song that I made up for all you summer readers here. It's called Summer Reading Blues. Well, I woke up this morning, I had the summertime blues. Yes, I woke up this morning, I had the summertime blues. I got a holes in my pockets, you know, I need a brand new pair of shoes. 
Let me play it for you. string pork and bean guitar. This next instrument is called a dulcimer. This is also a very quiet instrument. I like the way they sound. This song is about my home in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Well, my home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. I never expect to see you anymore. Well, goodbye, my little Asheville darling. Goodbye, my little Asheville darling. Oh, goodbye, my little Asheville darling. Never expect to see you anymore. We'll rock the baby feet in candy. Rock the baby feet in candy. Oh, rock the baby feet in candy. I never expect to see you anymore. Cause my home is across the Blue Ridge Mountain. Sing it with me. Home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. I never expect to see you anymore. Well, living around Asheville, I had to change that last version. Feeding the baby candy to this verse here. We'll rock the baby feeding broccoli. We'll rock the baby feeding broccoli. Oh, rock the baby feeding broccoli. I never expect to see you anymore. One more time. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. My home is across the Blue Ridge Mountains. I never expect to see you anymore.
Thank you very much. I took Dulcimer, spelled D-U-L-C-I-M-E-R. This instrument I'm playing for you is called a jaw harp. And what it is is a little instrument that's made out of metal and it's got a fin piece attached to it that you pull back on. Now see, it's real important that you leave a little space in between your teeth. And you put your teeth right up on the two little bars and pull back on the fin part and just breathe out. Makes those sounds. The best way I've found to teach people how to play this is by counting numbers. See if everybody can count along with me. How far did I get? 20. You can say words. Here's a little trick I play on my friends at home. I call them on the phone instead of saying, hi, what did you do today? Here's what I might say. See if you can understand this. Did you understand that? Hello, how are you? Now, if you're wondering what I do to change these sounds is by moving my tongue up and down and you might have heard this if you ever watch cartoons, especially old cartoons like Bugs Bunny and the Roadrunner, when something funny happens or somebody gets popped in the head or a spring jumps up and down, you'll hear this sound on the cartoons going. Ever heard that before? If you're wondering how I make the cartoon sound, it's just by wiggling my not breathing, I'm not doing anything but moving my tongue. I'll do it for you one more time and show you with my finger what I think I'm doing with my tongue. That's called a jaw harp. This next song's called I Wish I Was a Mole in the Ground. It's one that you can help me make up the verses to. It's, it starts like this. Oh, I wish I was a mole in the ground. Oh, I wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I'd rip that mountain down. I wish I was a mole in the ground. First of all, just learn that first verse. It just says, I wish I was a mole in the ground. Sing it with me. I wish I was a mole in the ground. Yes, I wish I was a mole in the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I'd bring that mountain down. Wish I was a mole in the ground. And I wish I was a lizard in the spring. Yes, I wish I was a lizard in the spring. If I was a lizard in the spring, I could hear my darling sing. I wish I was a lizard in the spring. Here comes the chorus again. Oh, I wish I was a mole with the ground. Yes, I wish I was a mole with the ground. If I was a mole in the ground, I'd have to die down. I wish I was a mole with the ground. Now, my favorite part is letting you guys make up the verses to it as we going along. So I, I've learned some, some good books about different animals. Like this, let's do a pig in a wig. I wish I was a pig in a wig. Yes, I wish I was a pig in a wig. If I was a pig in a wig, I'd dance a little jig. I wish I was a pig. Somebody suggests a cat. So let's do a cat in the hat. So everybody. 
I read that? Oh, I wish I was a cat in a hat. Oh, I wish I was a cat in a hat. If I was a cat in a hat, I'd make friends with that rat. I wish I was a cat in a hat. Let's see, what's the
like to say thank you to all you libraries and you boys and girls at home that are taking part of the summer reading program and it's real important that you keep up on your reading skills throughout the summer so when you go back to school you'll be able to be right in rhythm with the rest.